Today I'm going to show you a very delicious and simple easy meal. It's called Salisbury Steak and Potato Skillet. And then I'm going to show you how to take canned green beans and really flavor them up so that even the finicky husband that I have will eat them. You guys ready? I'm going to first start off by showing you the potatoes and how we're going to par cook these before we put them into the skillet to get all that delicious flavor that we're going to make when we make the Salisbury steaks. Simply delicious. I've got two large russet potatoes because that's what I have in my pantry right now. You can even use baby potatoes, the yellows or the reds, and you don't really have to peel those. You can just cut those into bite-sized pieces. And cooking potatoes takes a while, so we want to go ahead and have those kind of almost cooked. That way we're not cooking the Salisbury steaks to death while we're waiting for the potatoes to get done. I've just got a medium pot. I'm just going to cut my potatoes into bite-sized pieces. All right, now I just filled the water up about one inch above the potatoes, gave them a little bit of salt just to kind of keep them seasoned. I'm going to bring this to a boil and then I'm just going to simmer these for five minutes, which is about half the time of really cooking these through. Because we want to cook these through in the nice gravy that we're going to be making. Okay, in a large bowl, I've placed two pounds of ground beef. I'm going to add four tablespoons of ketchup. I'm going to put in one teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of black pepper, quarter teaspoon of salt, and I'm going to use that tablespoon again, and I'm going to put one tablespoon. Now this is an A1 sauce. It'll add some nice flavor. It's like a steak sauce. If you don't have that, you can put Worcestershire in there. Okay, I'm just going to put my glove on and mix these ingredients until well combined. Now I'm going to push the meat mixture down to the bottom of the bowl, kind of evenly. Then I'm just going to divide it in half. And then divide the halves in half until we have four equal parts. All right, I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to bring a plate over and then what I'm going to do is form these into oval shapes. You want them nice and equal on all sides. That way it cooks evenly. There we go. Now you can make these into eights and make them smaller if you want to do that. This will make good leftovers. <laughs> yeah, it's such a comforting dish. You can't help but want that for leftovers. going to start browning up the hamburger patties here. I'm going to place my burner on a medium high heat. I'm going to add one tablespoon of cooking oil. We're going to heat this up and then what I'm going to do is add the burgers to the pan here and we're going to brown them up on both sides. We're going to cook these about five to six minutes on each side. While that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and take a large onion, and I'm just going to cut these into big slices. You can't have Salisbury steak without the onions. Now, my potatoes are still cooking back here. I gave them a test, and they need about a few more minutes before they get about parboiled, which means halfway through the process. And then we're going to turn those off, and they'll be ready here in just a minute when we start making the gravy. Yeah, because when we put these in the pan, we want them to start sizzling right away so they can get a nice brown and kind of char bits on the bottom. That's what you want. Good flavor. Oh, you hear that sizzle? Yeah. All right, to give it some flavor, I'm just going to go ahead and add some butter between all of the patties here. Just let them melt into there. It'll give it some nice flavor. Okay, I've got a large onion, or you can do two medium onions, or if you have small ones, then you can do several of those. All right, let's go back over to our pan, and we're going to flip our burgers. 
These are going to finish cooking once we get them back in the pan with the gravy. Oh yeah. That's what you want to see right there. Alright, a few more minutes on these. And then we're going to pull them out of the pan and just put them on a plate and then we're going to start making the gravy. Now my potatoes are halfway cooked, so I'm going to turn off the burner and then what I'm doing is just draining the potatoes and let them sit in the strainer until we get to that part where we need them. Now I have the extra liquid in here. That is to keep the burgers from burning while we're trying to cook them through. So they're kind of boiling in that butter and that cooking oil. Now the cooking oil that I use is avocado oil. So it's a nice healthy oil. Now we're not cooking the burgers all the way through. They're going to finish cooking in the gravy. So I'm going to go ahead now and take out the burgers. Go ahead now and add my sliced onions to the grease. There we go. Cook these down for about five minutes until they are nice and soft. I'm going to give them just a little bit of salt to flavor the onions while they're cooking and some black pepper. All right, these are the potatoes that are par cooked. And I got some broth here. All right, the onions look really good. You don't want them really too soft at this point because they're gonna finish cooking with the potatoes and the Salisbury steaks there. So what I'm gonna do is add two cups of beef broth. About half of this box. We're going to raise the heat up to a high so we can bring this to a boil. Let's see, there we go. I'm going to put in the potatoes. I'm going to go over here now. I brought over a small bowl because we are going to make the sauce that's going to thicken this up. And we're going to kind of mimic the flavors from the steak burgers. So I'm going to put one cup of beef broth into a small bowl. Some of the A1 sauce, or if you were using the Worcestershire, you can do that too. Just a few teaspoons. Quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Tablespoon of ketchup. This is going to be the thickener, so we're going to be adding the cornstarch. Three tablespoons. Now I'm using half a tablespoon here, so that's why I'm going in a lot there. I'm going to blend this together. And we're going to add that to the potatoes and the onions. I think I'm going to add some black pepper to it. And a little bit of salt. There we go. Pour that in. That'll help thicken everything up. Bring my burgers over here. Just we're going to nestle those in here so that they can finish cooking and the potatoes will finish cook. Oh yeah, you can tell it's thickening up really good. We're going to turn down the heat. While I'm thinking about it. It's about a medium low, so we want this to simmer. I'm gonna put that in there, squeeze these around. I'm just gonna get a large spoon, take that gravy and just pour it over the hamburger steaks. Or the Salisbury steaks. I think they're just called anything you want to call them, I guess. Okay, get some of the onions on there, it's all flavor. And 
and uh, it should take just about five minutes to finish cooking all of this. In the meantime, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with canned green beans. Oh, nice potatoes there. You want to put a lid on this. There we go. Oh, doesn't that look good? There we go. Okay, in my medium saucepan that I boiled the potatoes in and drained the water from, I'm just going to go ahead and add the two tablespoons of butter. While that's melting, I'm going to be opening up my cans and I'm going to drain the juice out of the green beans. Okay, now these are the beans I'm using. They're just whole green beans and these are Blue Lake. My husband doesn't like green beans out of a can, so I'm always trying to find ways to doctor them up. So he doesn't like that canned taste to them that he thinks are in the beans. All right, so I'm going to add that. Ah, his favorite flavor, honey. Oh yeah, that's going in. Two tablespoons. Some minced garlic. About two teaspoons. Some black pepper. And a little bit of salt. We'll stir that all together. We're going to let these simmer until the hamburger steaks or the Salisbury steaks are cooked through. And just have a few more minutes. So, All right, I'm going to turn off the burner. Take this lid off. Mm. Oh, it smells delicious. I've already tried the gravy. Y'all just didn't see that part. It's so delicious. All right. You can always break one open and see if you need to cook it longer just to make sure. Let me plate this up for you guys and give it a try. These were about half a pound each, so half of one is suffice for a meal or even less than that. So I just wanted to let you know the size of that. And then move this out of the way. Look at this. Okay, we have the honey garlic green beans. My husband tried them already and he really loves this flavor right here. So here's the potatoes. Oh my gosh, they just cut right through. And then, <laughs> he had to go for another green bean. What do you think? Oh. Yeah, he likes those. All right, let's cut. Oh yeah, you see how tender that is? Nice and cooked through. Guys, I'm going to try a bite for you. Mm. Y'all know I'm on to big, comforting meals. Really good on the weekend. I'm going for that green bean. It's amazing what you can do with canned green beans if you want to flavor them up so you don't have to simmer them all day long. These potatoes, I'm ready to mash them all up, put that some more of that gravy on top and dig in. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do with any kind of dish, right? Whatever you want. Okay, you guys, give me a thumbs up on this one. I'm going to move over here because, you know, I always have some other dishes right here for you guys. I'll meet you over there. Just pick one. If you're new to the channel, right about here. You can click on it and you can subscribe to my channel. I have over 800 videos on here. I also have two cookbooks. You can go find those on my recipe blog, www.catherinesplates.com. Okay, guys, I will see you on my next episode.